Hello and welcome to the third installment of Is Prenatal Sonography Safe? Authorities agree that excessive ultrasound exposure can cause harm, but how much is excessive? Researchers can't quantify fetal sonic dose, and there are no dose response studies, so how do we answer this? Because we have no clear data, the onus of interpreting safety limits rests heavily upon the shoulders of individual sonographers, and each one has a different opinion. Unfortunately, and highly concerning, several studies suggest that a majority of sonographers are sorely lacking in effective education about ultrasound safety. For one example, the Alara principle basically means use as little ultrasound as physically possible and no more because of the risk of side effects. It is a core tenet of ultrasonography that everyone is taught. However, according to a paper published in 2008, the implementation of Alara throughout the diagnostic ultrasound community has been a failure. One reason for this failure is that sonographers misinterpret the maximum power that the machine can put out as a safe amount to use. In reality, it's not very safe. In fact, the FDA requires that ultrasound imaging devices display two values, the MI for mechanical index and TI for thermal index. This is referred to as the output display standard. These numbers are very rough guesstimates of exposure risks from acoustic cavitation and heat, respectively. And while they are not perfect, they are the only tools that sonographers currently have to estimate dose and relative risks in real time. In a 2011 publication aptly titled, Ultrasound is Safe, Right? A survey was conducted to assess the knowledge of end users and training of the output display standard. Out of 159 responders, only 17.7% knew how to find or use the output display standard in the first place. Further, 42.2% reported no limitations as to how much ultrasound should be used during pregnancy. This demonstrates an unacceptably common misunderstanding of both the output display standard and the Alara principle. These results were not a fluke. In an editorial titled, Clinical End Users Worldwide Show Poor Knowledge Regarding Safety Issues of Ultrasound During Pregnancy, the results of two questionnaires are discussed. In a 2005 survey of end-users practicing on a daily or weekly basis in European countries, out of 199 responders, only 22% could correctly explain what the thermal index is. Even worse, only 11% of them could explain the mechanical index. In an even more disturbing 2006 survey of ultrasound end-users in North America, out of 130 responders, 17.7% could explain the thermal index, and only 3.8% could explain the mechanical index. These numbers sound really bad, but that is the reality of the situation. Listen, expectant mothers, when you're about to get a sonogram, ask your practitioner what those two little numbers on the screen mean. If they can't give you an answer, then you might want to consider seeking another professional to perform your sonogram. Anyway though, thank you very much for watching. Like our Facebook page and share this video. Get the word out, this stuff is important. Take care everybody.